Okay. What you're seeing here, I'm Mark Anderson with American Free Press. Welcome to AmericanFreePress.net. It's a protest in McAllen, Texas, January 9, against Israel's aggression in Gaza. And we have people, lots of Muslims here from the Muslim community that are uh, holding up signs that say, Free Palestine, stop the war, stop the killing, stop the aggression. Pictures of babies that have been slain there in Gaza. Very heart-wrenching pictures. We have probably 50, 60, 80 people out here today, late in the afternoon across from the Benson building in downtown McAllen. And coming over here, coming over here, uh, we have, for instance, Hassan Mohammed, who's now a U.S. citizen from McAllen. Speak kind of loudly. Yes. And uh, he's been telling me about the realities of living in Gaza uh, that sort of provide the background for uh, a lot of the uh, aggression and killing that's going on. Uh, thanks for being with me today, Hassan. Yes, sir. Thank you. And uh, if you would, just uh, tell the uh, internet audience here uh, a little bit of what you know about the current goings on, the, the aggression, and uh, what, what is the latest you've heard about this? Well, the latest, well, I, it's really what I would ask anybody to go back and search for the truth. What is happening and why it's happening? It's happening, uh, what's going on here? Why there is a killing? Just people living in, the, in their own land, okay, which is in the West Bank and Gaza. The West Bank and Gaza, as you know, there was re was occupied in 1967 by Israel. Israel, they withdrew from Gaza, and also they withdrew from uh, part of the West Bank. The, the order for the Oslo Agreement to take uh, uh, to take into effect, and therefore, the Palestinian before they used to have stones. The kids, they used to have stones to throw on the Israeli soldiers. But Israel, in order for them to avoid having kids throwing a stone, they start talking to the PLO. They start talking to Yasser Arafat, who was labeled before as a terrorist. They start talking to the PLO, which used to be a terrorist group in an Israeli dictionary. So they brought all the people, that, which they call terrorists, from Tunisia and from Algeria to the West Bank. And they put them in the West Bank and they even gave them s small uh, handguns, okay? Now, this is now, it's a country, okay? Now, so to speak. So to speak. And when was this handgun. exactly? What that years? was in 1982, after the Oslo Agreement. So they gave it sort of an ostensible statehood in order to do what? To in, order, in order to justify them, the Israeli, to shoot and kill. Okay. Because now you're fighting a country, you're fighting a state, you're not fighting kids. Villagers, okay. you're not fighting yeah. villagers and, now and, it's and the, the, people the, just living right. in... in just, uh, no, because now you have you have what you call, like I said, I, I, I just questioned the, 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 the idea of having people who were labeled terrorists, who attacked, claiming attacked Israel before, and they brought them, they were sent from Lebanon, to Tunisia because their PLO, as you know, they were thrown out of Lebanon. Okay, they were first were thrown out of Jordan because they were in Jordan. Then they had in 1970, 1972, 73, they have the war in, they, against the, the king, the king of Hussein, throw the, all the PLO from Jordan to Lebanon. Let me yeah. let me shoot ahead, fast forwarding to the present. Is it possible that uh, the the uh, the Mossad, the Israeli intelligence it agency, is very or other elements could be infiltrating? Hamas to uh, provoke this attack, uh, possibly on Israelis' behalf. Is that possible? It is possible. I want to ask the question, who have supported Hamas in the beginning? Who created Hamas? I believe the Mossad. The Mossad and Jordan. Which is a very interesting thing. Now give, give briefly, uh, before we wind this up, give a little bit about your background. You're now a U.S. citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen. I was born in Jerusalem. I came to the United States in 19... 
I am a real estate investor. I moved to McAllen, uh, to the Valley, about six years ago. I was in New York, I was in Chicago, I was in California. I was working with with the, with, with the market company, with Shell Oil. With the, so I've been very active as far as business-wise and also I graduated from Roosevelt University in Chicago. I uh, graduated first, I had You're my basically, bachelor's degree. You basically but, have an Arabic yeah, background, you're Muslim? Yes, I have a Muslim, I have a background, Arabic background because I was raised in Jerusalem. And yeah. then lastly, what would be the best one thing if you had to name it that the U.S. government should either do or refrain from doing that could help it? Well, help the Palestinian to have a kind of a freedom, just like anybody else want that kind of freedom. Just free the children, they need to go to school free, just like the Israeli, they want to go to schools being not afraid, not scared that's their father or they will be killed. Same thing for the Muslims. What, the same right to what the about Palestine. U.S. foreign aid to Israel? Should it be trimmed, cut back, eliminated? It should be, it should be eliminated because it's uh, what you get. Uh, Israeli are not utilizing that foreign aid in order to help the Israeli. It's the Israel, they are they're, they're using the foreign aid to really, in a way, utilize it against the Palestinians. Okay, Hassan, Mohammed, uh, you've been listening you. to the first part of today's uh, protest here in McAllen, Texas. I'm Mark Anderson at AmericanFreePress.net. You're listening to Across the Nation. We'll see you next time, possibly for other videos from this event and other news that I cover uh, across the country uh, throughout the year. Thank you.